In this Rhino video tutorial, we'll learn how to model a fishbowl, cap lens, or a trash can using a revolve tool. And the revolve tool is like turning a contour profile on a lathe. So I'll use the front view, I'll click on polyline, and instead of using grid snap, I use shift to be a straight or vertical. right click to end, curve, shift to be straight. So the first profile I'll do, I'll draw, it's kind of a mechanical part to show you. So I need to join those two curves, type join or control J. And now if we go revolve, we can go zero, hold shift, full circle. And if we look, we have some sort of a mechanical part. If we need to close it, we can use the cap command. And if we need to give it thickness, we can use offset surf. Then we'll have a thick part. To build the lens, what I was doing is a similar part, but much higher. I would, I would do a large offset between the profile and the x-axis and then I will revolve it so there would be a spacing that's how you would model a tire too. so now instead of clicking on full circle you can press U it's the same thing enter and now we can see that we have more of a cap of a lens cap and same principle we can go cap if it's what we need or we can use offset surf Might be a hair too thin here. But. Let's learn the history, the record history. It's mostly per tool. It'll be too much uh, memory to leave it on. So if you turn this before doing a revolve or a loft or an extrude, it means that you can go back to it. So revolve, zero, enter, just go enter. But I could have pressed you for full circle. Or you press enter twice, same thing. So now that I've done this, I can actually go back to my curve and change it. But not just the size, I can also change the topology of it. And this will update. So that is what the record history does. The second shape that I wanted to show you is the fishbowl. Back to the front view, polyline, zero, shift, right click to end, and then we'll use the second arc, this one. Start end, and we'll go, we'll overshoot a lot. Join those two, control plus J, revolve, zero, hold shift, and this time we go vertical. And here you can press U, enter, or enter twice. Control shift E to frame all, and here we can go offset surf. And I'll change the distance a bit, uh, 1.2, so it's thicker. And the last object that I want to show you is that we can do the thickness at the beginning. So we'll do a trash can. Polyline, zero, shift, second arc. Don't overshoot this time, just a little bit like this. We'll move this here so it's nicer. Voila. Escape twice to hide the point. Control J. And here, just to fillet this, we can type fillet. And we use a large fillet, like three. One is one square on the grid. Click here, click here. Join this. Offset. So now we can do offset instead of offset surf and we can tell him which way we want it and the distance of the offset. So we'll go outside. To cap the top, you can use the line or polyline and then fillet, but a smaller fillet, point two. Here and here, right click to redo the tool and now you can join it all. 
control J and now we can use the revolve zero hold shift you enter and you don't need to close it here voila so you could 3d print this